Hey, all you cool cats and kittens, it's Carol Basket. I mean, it's Proto Dead, and it's time for another kitty cat. Long play. All right, today we're playing Dishonored. This is the fourth episode. Shooting for one hour chunks here. This is a low chaos run, so basically what that means is no killing, stealth, options only, trying to get the good ending, or whatever ending is attributed to the low chaos, as opposed to the high chaos, which is killing everybody. Special thanks to Dominator on this one. No memes, no jokes, no additional molestation of the source footage, no bullshit. Just raw gameplay experience. This is a long play. I am Proto Dead. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. What happened last time on Proto Dead's Long Play? Corbo and Tano snuck back into the Dunwall Distillery District with the intention of breaking into the Golden Cat, breaking Emily out, and also dispatching the Pendleton twins. The announcement over the intercoms described what happened to the previous target, High Overseer Campbell. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Thaddeus Campbell, formerly High Overseer, is no longer a citizen of Dunwall. He now bears the Heretics brand. And by one of the oldest traditions of the Abbey of the Everyman, it is now a minor criminal offense to offer this man aid or house. He got attacked outside Griff's shop by the same assassins that killed the Empress, Jessamine Caldwin. Some thug insists Corvo to go see their leader, named Slackjaw. The heart had some very interesting things to say along the way. The, the brothels, brothels sprang up around the distilleries. They are inseparable. Is this the month of the harvest? Time has lost all me. Listen, I can hear their every thought. I am not alive, nor have I ever received the gift of death. Slackjaw offers a deal. He wants Corvo to go find this missing man, Crawley in exchange for easy access to the Golden Cat, so Corvo can execute the Pendletons and rescue Emily Copeland. Corvo sneaks into Galvani's offices, found Slackjaw's missing man, murdered by the City Watch. Return to Slackjaw with the info on Crowley. Someone wants to snuff Slackjaw and take over. He gives Corvo a key to access the roofs. He also offers to get rid of the Pendletons forever and non-lethally. This time, Slackjaw wants the combination to the art dealer's Bunting's private safe. After using the key, Corvo snuck into the Golden Cat. Soon after, he finds young Emily Caldwin in one of the rooms. Oh, it's you! Emily tells Corvo he needs to get the Golden Key to get out. Corvo quickly chokes out Madame Prudence and steals the key. He later found the arts dealer, Bunting. This sicko gets his jollies off by getting shocked. Corvo shocked his ass so much that he quickly confessed to the combination. He also tells Corvo that the Pendleton's inheritance were worth hundreds of thousands. Corvo returned to Emily and unlocked the door. Slackjaw receives his combination and explains that the Pendletons would be abducted, heads shaved, tongues cut out, and planted in their own work mines to never see the light of day again. Corvo escapes with Emily and Samuel the Boatman. With Corvo and Emily holding hands, she gets introduced to the team of loyalists. Havelock congratulates Corvo. Pendleton didn't seem real happy, and mentioned spending a lot of money to break Corvo out of prison. Havelock, Martin, and Corvo talk about the next mission to go after Anton Sokolov. Off to Caldwin's Bridge, sir. We'll get our sleep later. Just climb aboard when you're ready. What do you think, Corvo? Caldwin's Bridge. You've been in the city for years, but you lived in Dunwall Tower with the late Empress, so maybe you haven't visited the bridge before tonight. Something to look out for. See all them lights on the water? That's right. We'll be spotted for sure. You're gonna have to shut off their power before I can pick you up. Now, about bringing Sokolov back alive, he's smart. Maybe even smarter than Piero. Got the whole of Dunwall under his thumb with all that natural philosophy business. New technology, potions and the like. Seems dangerous to me. But what do I know? Here we... Ah, 
I'll meet you at the arches under Sokolov's place when you're ready, Corvo. Assuming, of course, you're taking care of those floodlights. Citizens and visitors to our city, by order of the region, the Did curfew is now active. The overseer? No foot traffic is allowed across Caldwin's Bridge until curfew is lifted. Attention all citizens. No pedestrian movement is allowed along Caldwin's Bridge during this period. Curfew will end tomorrow morning at sunrise. visitors to 
are spinning. By order of the region, the curfew is now active. No foot traffic is allowed across Caldwin's Bridge until curfew is lifted. Attention all citizens. No pedestrian movement is allowed along Caldwin's Bridge during this period. Curfew will end tomorrow morning at sunrise. Check under everything. I gotta stop chewing handles. Nothing here. Well now, Mr. Pratchett, even a wealthy man like you needs the city watch. Gangs are cutting throats and smashing windows left and right, and the weepers, excuse me, the plague victims are worse. Are you saying the Lord Regent is wrong for imposing curfew? It won't do you any good to bait.
Rivers change course over many lifetimes, and eventually all bridges tumble down. A thousand years ago, there was another city on this spot. The people carved the bones of whales into runes and inscribed them with my mark. Children still find them washed up in the river mud. Anton Sokolov has made a great study of my runes, but he's not special like you are. He wasn't chosen and he doesn't wear my mark, so he can't unlock their secrets. Sokolov believes there are specific words and acts that can compel me to appear before him. He searches old temples in Pendicia and ruined sub-basements in the flooded district. He performs disgusting rituals beneath the old abbey. But if he really wants to meet me, he could start by being a bit more interesting. brings it by, and the Ark Pylon will pry you. Those things? Yeah, die. Will it, sir. You'll be thankful when Slackjaw's boys come down the street to slit your ricker. It'll be fun to watch them turn to ash. It was a time to scout around. That's right. Kids Scouting kids is when you find out what the guards the are doing and come back. To live past well, so now we know scared what the guards are doing. The reason you scout is so you don't end up in a cell. What Alec did was the... You want to take my patrol? I don't need shit from you.
none of this would have gotten so bad. I heard you there. I'm going back.
bad. Could the city get any worse? Indeed, I believe. Absolutely sure he continues his work. The screams are evidence his work continues. Thus, the screams are evidence that I have done my job. We. The screams are evidence we have done our job. You know, Guardsman, I don't care for you Even very much. Even now, he whispers the, the prayer against witchcraft. witchcraft. Can you hear it? After the characteristic sloughing of the skin, she should be dead by mid-morning tomorrow. Please, sir. Please let me go. Ah, awake, I see. How are you feeling? Much. Much worse. Do I have the plague? Please, sir. I don't want to die. Hush now. No one's going to die. You are much improved, number 312. The formula I administered to you is working exactly as it should. I cannot let you go yet, because I have off here. my study. But tomorrow will make all the difference. Really? What? 
How did you get past all the guards? Your tattoo is quite unusual. It is reminiscent of markings I've studied on cave walls far from the city. Who sent you? Piero? That jealous fool. There's no need to be his lap hound. You and I can come to an agreement. One that I'm sure will please you more than anything Piero dreamed up. Who are you? What is it you want? Money? Elixir against the plague? I don't know how you got past all the defenses, but I think I can assume if you wanted me dead, well, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Everything within my power to give you is yours. If you'll just let me go. I can see you are an intelligent man, so you understand there will be repercussions if you should harm me. I am the Royal Physician, head of the Academy of Natural Philosophy. Stay back! Have you no heart? Please! Before you do anything rash, I think we can come to an agreement. It doesn't matter who sent you. Whatever they are paying you, I will double it. Triple it. No? Well, money is not the only thing I have in abundance. Perhaps there are other rewards you seek. I see you are a determined man. Is there nothing I can offer you? Sir? Who are you? What is it you want? Money? Elixir against the plague? I don't know how you got past all the defenses, but I think I... <laughs> Thank you, whoever you are. It kept me in a cage, like an animal. The pain is horrible right now. So I'll just hide in a corner and leave when I'm feeling better. Himself. You made a neat job of it. Drop him here and we'll be off. Set up a cell for Sokolov in the old kennel. Shackles and everything. It'll be a shock him waking up in the straw and old dog poop. But from what I hear, he's woken up worse places. Guess we all have it back. Well done, Colonel. Well done. I doubt a dozen soldiers could have done it better. Sokolov's knowledge will enable us to strike at the Lord Regent directly, and ultimately help you get your life back. Soon, we won't have to hide in the shadows. The Royal Physician is brilliant, but he was a fool to protect the Lord Regent. Sokolov gave us the elixir, the war machines. He could have made us a great nation. Now he pays the price for siding with a tyrant. You have my thanks, sir. If you wish to get some sleep, now is a good time. Normally, I'm a natural philosopher, but today, consider me a humble craftsman here to serve.
adjacent to Pendleton Manor will be closed. Please be as quiet as you can. It took forever for Emily to fall asleep. Poor dear. It's okay, Emily, I'm here. She seems happier when you're here. Though I know you have important things to do. Out there, in the city. Fortunes have been won here, and the lives have been lost. The old man planted a dark corner and drank himself into oblivion. The hounds were the first to find him. making funny faces while you were sleeping. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. Callista will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Corvo. It makes me feel better. I hope Sokolov will cooperate. I'd hope to have him... No physician. I believe you and Corvo knew each other in former days. Unlike you, our friend Corvo knows what loyalty means. Bah! I am loyal to my inner spirit. You are the one consorting with the most wanted man in the Empire. It's my belief that Corvo was innocent in the death of the Empress. And the former spymaster, or the Lord Regent, as he calls himself is a ruthless tyrant bent on destroying this city, the heart of the Empire. You are mistaken if you think there's love between me and our Lord Regent. But whatever you intend to do here, I assure you, I am beyond petty scare tactics. If I don't scare you, Sokolov, perhaps these rats will. Even if they don't carry plague, I've heard of a swarm of rats stripping a child's body to the bone in half a minute. I've heard worse. How long do you think it'll be before you talk? Before you beg to talk? Rats? Is that the company you keep now, Admiral? It's the company you keep that interests us so long. We know you painted a portrait of the Lord Regent's mistress. The very aristocrat who is funding the military with her fortune. She is the key to the Lord Regent's control over the city, and we... ...have her name. Sorry, Admiral. I cannot help you. You're part of this rabble, but I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. Curious strategy. Of which I approve. I'll leave it to you. But if you get tired of questioning Sokol.
I know it looks... I was inventing a new kind of lock. The tumblers shaped like snowflakes. The truth is, there is no snowflake lock. I was just, you know, looking through the lock. I couldn't bear it if she knew. I know you're a man of honor, and I also know that you can kill me at any time. And for both of these reasons, I apologize and beg for your discretion. It's well known that Sokolov is virtually addicted to a rare liquor called King Street Brandy. The taste is revolting but I happen to have a bottle. However, I am reluctant to give it to you for Sokolov. It cost me quite a lot. It is very expensive stuff, a blend of rare Pendician spices and a drop of whale oil. Would you care to purchase it? Attention Dunwall citizens, be aware that looting of evacuated areas is a serious the offense doom of and will be summarily punished by officers of war. I could use a drink. King Street Brandy? I didn't know any more existed. It is an extraordinary gift. I see I'm dealing with men of taste. I can't tell you this much. She was always referred to as Lady Boyle. I painted her to be sure, but I never saw her face or learned her first name. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you, she still makes a striking portrait. But I do not know which Boyle she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. A masked ball at the Boyle Estate? Tonight? The timing is perfect with Corvo. But the Boyles are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Of course, you already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? He's right. You will be able to mingle with them once you're on the grounds. You'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent, and take her out, in whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. If you do this tonight, we'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself, and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you. I swear I never saw her face. Although I can vouch that her hindquarters are the finest in the city, and perhaps the Empire itself. Mm. I hear you're off to the Boyle's little bash tonight. I have just a tiny favor I'd like to ask you. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for me. Have you ever been in a sea battle? Of course. Did you ever see pirates? And did you sink any? Of course. Dozens. Oh, yes. But that's not for young girls to hear about. But I will be Empress, won't I? And then I'll have to sink lots of enemy ships myself. And that's what Empresses do mostly, isn't it? Of course. I knew it! I read that some pirate ships have witches aboard that can cause storms and make whales do what they want. Is that true? Yes. Uh, mostly. Maybe we should be quiet now. Very well. 